Hello everyone and welcome again to another edition of Beam Backup New Application version 12 tips and tricks. Today I wanted to talk again uh, about tapes and this time I wanted to talk about making backup jobs on tapes. So as you can see uh, at my home I got one backup job that was finished successfully. I backed up one of my VMs and I now I would like to actually make a, uh, a backup job for the tape for this particular VM. So I'm gonna go to jobs, I'm gonna go to tape job and here I'm gonna go backup to tape. And here I'm gonna let's say call it backup tape Let's uh, add a backup job. Of course, we're gonna use the current existing backup job that holds my uh, v, uh, VM at the moment. If you have a lot of backup jobs, you need to just pick the one that is interested, interesting for you, and then you just put it on the schedule for um, backup to tape. Next, you are of course um, shown the um, media pool. So the, this is my standard media pool that I use. I have four tapes in the pool and the space, uh, total space is uh, almost 50 terabytes. So more than enough uh, for uh, this um, particular backup. Just bear in mind that when you are choosing pools with tapes, if you have quite a lot of VMs, you need to actually see how much uh, the current backup is taking and you need to choose the specific pool that uh, holds uh, the enough uh, amount of space, of course. Because if you're gonna put uh, a bigger backup on a smaller amount of space, then you wouldn't be able to make the backup because mm, the space mm, on the tapes is gonna be not sufficient for your backup. We got here the schedule, of course. So full backup schedule that you can actually <coughs> but I'm gonna skip it for now. As you can see, the worm is false here. Worm, so uh, you you can either have tapes here that are standard tapes, uh, or you can have worm tapes. Worm tapes are the tapes that can be mm, uh, used only uh, once. So they are uh, they basically you cannot. Mm, it, it, you can write to them once uh, and read them many times. That's why they are called, they are, are called worm. So read once and um, write once and read many times. And of course, those tapes that I uh, hold in my standard pool, they are just normal standard tapes. Okay, okay. Um, now uh, archive uh, incremental backups to tape, yeah. Of course, I'm gonna go with this. I can do eject tape media upon the uh, job completion. <coughs> Limit the number of drive jobs. So if you have more than one drive, you can actually lim limit those uh, drives if uh, there is a necessity for that. Of course, in advanced settings, we got uh, a notification that you can set up. So. Once the uh, jobs uh, for the tapes are done, you get a notification in your email. Mm, uh, either the job was successful or not. And here in the advanced, we got, of course, backup process, uh, latest full backup chain only. We can use compression. Just bear in mind, if you compressed the backup in this uh, backup, so if you compressed it uh, previously and you used this option, don't use this option again. Uh, if you didn't compress uh, any of your backups, then you can actually use this compression uh, option for the tapes. So the backup is going to take less space on the tape. And of course scripts that you can actually use. Okay, next. Uh, of course the schedule that you can, when the backup tape job is going to be running. How many, mm, if 
uh, some link backups jobs are still running wa wait up to so if we have some backup jobs that are linked to this backup job this is the amount of time that our backup uh, job for tape is gonna wait until all of those backup de backups that are linked are gonna finish and then our backup to tape is gonna start without any errors and without risk or we can choose to prevent this uh, job uh, from being interrupted by source backup jobs which I'm gonna choose here and then I'm gonna cl click run so our backup tape job is gonna be running right now And since this is gonna take a little bit of time, because I have my proxy set to network, networking, and the network connection isn't that great, then I'm just gonna pause the video and unpause it once everything is done and we can go back to our backup tapes. Okay, so as you can see, the tape job has been completed successfully. So now we could actually go to tapes backup job to tape and as you can see there's our VM that has been actually uh, put on the tape. Okay, so basically this is how you can uh, actually do the basic uh, backup job uh, to tape, the standard one. Of course, as always, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.